Hi, and welcome to Worldwide Canadian. I'm Tim Clark, and it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm heading off to Amherst today to check out the charging that's newly installed at the Canadian Tire. And it's going to be a good one, so stick around. I was a highwayman Along the coach roads I did ride With sword and pistol by my side Many a maid lost her bottles to my trade Many a soldier shed his life So after 275 kilometers at 17.6 kilowatt hours per hundred I arrived here at the charger and I'm going to get ready now to plug in So uh, plugged in and I'm getting a good speed so far. According to this, it's going to be 17 minutes to 80%. And I'm at 94 kilowatts and already at 104. 127, 138, 142. So we're at eight minutes left. We just dropped down for 177 kilowatts, which we maintained for about four minutes. And uh, we're gonna go to uh, above 80% on this one. We're gonna go right up to 90% at least. And I'll check back in when we're all done so you can see the cost. So we're just about ready to hit 80%. And we did that from about 11% to 80% in 18 minutes, which is what the car has said it will do on a 350 kilowatt charger. And that's absolutely 100% correct. And I'm going to actually stop here because I have enough to make it back to Halifax. So all in all, this was a great charging experience here at the Canadian Tire in Amherst. They have lots of charging capacity here at 350 kilowatts. Now, it does say hyper-fast balanced, which means to me that it may be that if you get a bunch of cars here, that perhaps they share the power to the different posts in different balanced amounts. I'm not sure how that even works. But if you're here by yourself, you can get up to 177 on a standard range Hyundai Ioniq 5, which is pretty darn good speed. It is expensive, but uh, definitely worth it. So I had a successful charge at the Electrify Canada site. I decided to head on over to Olic, which is about eight kilometers away, and check out the 50 kilowatt charger that's left here. It's kind of funny when you charge on a 50 kilowatt compared to a 350. Now my top speed was 177 kilowatts, and uh, I received uh, enough that I could uh, make it all the way back to Halifax and probably back to Bridgewater except for the fact that I have a little bit of a side trip today. But right now I've decided that I went on over to Olic at the big stop just to see how that was doing. And I ran into a major construction here. Flo is adding a several hundred kilowatt chargers to what's here already. And I'm just topping up so that I don't have to uh, worry about uh, making it back to Halifax later this evening, where I'll uh, finish off uh, with just a slight little charge to make it back to Bridgewater. I always like to have extra buffer just in case I run into a problem. So the real good news about all of this is that uh, the charging site back in Yarmouth and the one in Digby and New Minus are all either online now or going to be online shortly, which means that there's going to be more charging for those folks that live here year round and also for tourists in the summer. So that's good news. Now, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and click on that bell icon to make sure you can get notified when we upload new content. Thanks very much for stopping by Worldwide Canadian. See you next time.